Hi student, today we are going to talk about the usefulness of microorganism. Microorganism can cause a lot of bad things to us like um, disease, like HIV virus that cause AIDS and also um, causing malaria disease. But there are also a lot of good things that we can learn uh, what microorganism can uh, give us. Okay, so let us look at a few examples what uh, is the usefulness of microorganism. Let's say in medicine, there are some virus and bacteria are used to prepare vaccine. So you all know that actually vaccine is a, is a, is a, um, a, a thing that you need to inject in your body when you are a baby that time or when you are in standard six, somewhere around that time, doctor will inject some um, vaccine into your body which actually help to stimulate your antibody and we are going to cover this more in the uh, next chapter and some fungi are used to prepare penicillin okay so penicillin is actually an antibody to help us to overcome tuberculosis so there are different between vaccine and uh, uh, vaccine and uh, this is antibodies we are going to learn this more uh, late in the later series so um, in the microorganism also can help for a decomposition process like in the sewage, sewage tank actually it has uh, bacteria that help to um, decompose the sewage thing that make it to become a methane gas that it actually help us to make a fuel okay so this is a uh, it's a environment friendly and you can always use it like it won't um, finish okay and a few more example that we're going to look is um, industry okay bacteria also are used to prepare yogurt and cheese and some like yeast you know yeast also can use to prepare alcoholic drink so if you don't do not know how to make alcoholic drink maybe you can go to youtube or you can ask your mom i'm sure your mom have a little bit more understanding about how to make alcoholic drink Let's look at another few more examples is digestion of food. Like a cow, cow has a bacteria that actually help them to digest the um, cellulose, okay? The cellulose in the, in the grass or in the leaf. Not like us, we don't have that bacteria. You and me, we can't eat grass, but cow can eat grass because they have this special type of bacteria that can secrete the enzyme to digest cellulose into glucose we can't digest cellulose that's why we need to cook it so that it will become um, cellulose or uh, softer for us to digest and but even in our body we also have the good bacteria that this bacteria is in our large intestine then it actually help us to um, um, digest um, and absorb nutrients like vitamin B and K so in agriculture there's some plant that actually um, have um, the bacteria which we call it as nitrogen fixing bacteria. We are going to cover this also in the next chapter where this bacteria actually help to um, take the nitrogen from the atmosphere and make it to become an ion nitrate which eventually will become the nutrient for the tree. So these tree actually do not need um, a lot of fertilizer or nutrient from the ground because this tree itself actually take nutrient from the air like the potato tree or long bean tree okay so usually this uh, bacteria will be at their roots so uh, basically um, this is the this chapter and we are we are we need to we there are a lot of things we need to cover in a few more next chapter thank you bye